five missing people from the Wilmington area. None of them are connected, but there is something similar in these cases. Little is known about them, and the clock is ticking to get answers. Today, we're diving deep into a 30-year-old mystery in Wilmington, North Carolina. His wallet was still at the house, his ID, his money, and Barry was nowhere to be found. Surrounded by water on all sides, the area is notorious for frequent car accidents. The Dodge Challenger drove off a pier in downtown Wilmington last week. Crews had to fish a car out of the Cape Fear River along the Southport waterfront. New details now in a crash that happened Tuesday just before noon in Brunswick County. It's definitely a car. Oh, it's not look at that. The first question you ask before getting in this water is, have you seen any gators? Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN, and we'll get more on that here in just a minute. Today we traveled to North Carolina in Winnebo, North Carolina, pretty close to Wilmington. We're about 20 minutes out. We're searching for Barry Maurice Aiken, and we've already been here past, I think, about a year ago. We searched all over Wilmington up in Cape Fear. Yeah. Super dangerous river. Very dangerous. We found you, a, you dove, a, dove a pickup out there. Yeah, I found a truck, uh, and I think there's a couple other vehicles that they already knew about. You right there? That is on the right side. We, we directly went over it. That is 100% a pickup truck. I know for, I, you, you can just tell, you can see, here's the bed. Hopefully I can make this quick in and out, grab the tag, and get back up. It is like a 30 foot depth, so it's gonna drop off really fast. I mean, that should be it, interesting. It, it's, it's a pretty steep. After that, I located a vehicle here in Rice Creek near Winnebo, which is, I guess, 20 minutes south, and I never dove on it. I'm out here in North Carolina, and I just found a car. It doesn't extremely scream like one, but it's it's a car that kind of on its side, sideways. It's kind of a hard image to see, but I got it on my uh, remote control sonar boat that I built so I can scan these waters. But yeah, right there, that, that is a car. We happen to be in the area again, and we're going to be diving and pulling this thing out and Tom's towing is going to be helping us out today. They're going to be coming and pulling this car out. We're about to dive on it, figure out what it is. Barry was driving a 93 Nissan Sentra. He also went missing in 93. So it's like a, he's driving a 30 year old car. He went missing 30 years ago. In February 1993, 21 year old Barry Maurice Aiken was reported missing by his dad. From 2030 Wrightsville Avenue. According to Mr. Aiken's father, uh, Barry was depressed at the time. Uh, Barry also suffered from uh, seizures. On February 24th, Kunak says Aiken's dad came home and Aiken wasn't there. His wallet was still at the house, his ID, his money, and Barry was nowhere to be found. It's very strange, yeah. but it's, you know, the fact that there's a vehicle here in a pretty, pretty close distance, it needs to be dove on, it needs to be removed. It's, it's right been, in the way, it, technically. It's been here, uh, yeah, it's right off the boat ramp. And it's only it's, 10 feet deep, so technically here, boat could hit it. But today we're going to be pulling it out, and so I think it's been in here almost at least a year, but we're going to find out exactly what it is here in a minute. Jeremy's going to dive on it, so let's get out here, find this thing, and see what it is. So when we're out on the water, safety is a very important thing. When we're out searching for missing people, pulling cars out of the rivers and lakes. Now, safety is also very important when you're browsing the internet. Your personal information is so easy to get stolen and taken. That's why a VPN is very important to have, and that's why you need to download Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN can keep you safe from trackers, malware, and phishing attempts. If you haven't heard of Surfshark VPN, it's an app and web browser extension that lets you change your IP address to anywhere in the world. And that's very important because in different countries, if you travel a lot, there's a lot of popular apps like even YouTube, Google, Facebook, Instagram, Netflix, all these streaming apps that you can't access in other countries. And it doesn't just protect your home and your family, it protects you when you're out in public on any public Wi-Fi. I know when we're out, we travel across the country, we have to use the public Wi-Fi a lot to upload these massive videos online. And it's very important to have a good VPN like Surfshark to keep you protected. So I would definitely recommend downloading Surfshark VPN and you can use my code Adam Brown and get three months free. And if you're unsure about it, there is a 30 day guarantee. Well, they'll give you your money back. It's definitely worth it if you want to keep your information safe. So once again, you can download Surfshark VPN like any other app. You can click the link below in the description or scan the QR code on the screen. Surfshark VPN. Okay, 
next car out today is our goal. And it's still here. We just saw it, so. Yeah, one, one I'm trying to figure car. out what this thing is. This is, you know, it, it's a small little creek here. Black water, but it's pretty popular. It's a lot of boats coming through. So we're about to go over it. So 10 feet, it's to the left. That's like really close. <laughs> it's not on upside down. That was definitely sitting on its wheels. It's definitely a car. It's definitely the only car out here. It doesn't look super old, I would say. Mm -hmm. Looks like hard a car. Hard, hard to tell. One car. Looks like it's even backwards. My nose rig up the. I mean, it's right up the ramp. This one's it should yeah, be pretty pretty easy. Yeah, as long as I can get to, because I can pretty much have to take that strap, wrap it around a wheel, yeah, and then pull it through itself. Should be able to do it, but it means I gotta reach under a car <laughs> and do that. You don't have to go far. I mean, there is gators, but it's cold. I don't think they're gonna do much. I can imagine they'd be out here. Yeah, I with guess. all the boats and noise right here, they'd probably stay away from this spot. We'll just we'll just stick with. There's no gators out here. I don't care about the pictures. No gators. Running the live scan, trying to get a better idea. Should be like right here to the right of this boat ramp. Yeah, that's it. Mirror. It's at it's at a weird angle. It's the mirror. It almost looks like it's buried a little bit. Yeah. Honestly, it should be a pretty quick dive. Oh man, well we got we got ourselves a 30 foot strap. We're gonna use this strap to pull it out of the water. And kind of rig the magnet up to it because we don't have carabiners at the moment. But it's only 10 feet. Drop it. It'll probably land right on the hood or roof. And then I'll set the buoy up. And then I'll dive it and I'll take this off. And then I'll wrap it around a wheel or whatever I can find to pull it out. Yeah. And then we're good. And then we'll get the tow truck here and they'll start pulling and hopefully it'll come out. It'll be no problem whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, it's like. It's literally right out. Somebody just sent it right in. My only concern here is that this road literally goes straight into the water. Now, I didn't see any missing people in the general area and vehicles. I think there's some just on their own, but you never know. I mean, there's been cases before. I know this car has been here at least a year. It's definitely a newer style. It's not super old based on the curves of the car, but we'll find out here in a second once you dive it. All right, we just marked it. We're gonna try to pre-rig it on this rope. That way when the tow guy comes, literally, we just hook to the top and pull it out. And it might, it might be our fastest recovery yet. What do you say? Definitely not. <laughs>
just gotta pull this one up. That's a car right here. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what to do, I've made it too short. Is it attached to that stuff? Well, I can put a D-ring to those two. Yeah, do that. Old Hyundai Elantra. Ah. Any plate? Huh? Plate on it? NPA 7179, North Carolina. You couldn't pull it off? No, I couldn't pull it off. All right, well that's hooked together. All right, check it out. Honda I want you, huh? Yeah, you know, all windows are up. Really? Yeah, it's buried. <laughs> you got it around the tire? I had to go the way, the rear. The rear was completely up. That's what I was looking at, yeah. But like I just I, I stuck the the strap behind the strut and then brought it up under the wheel, so. What was the license plate? NTA7179. That was spooky because I couldn't see anything until I landed right on top of the car. I was like, Jesus. Well, let me give Tom a call and tell him to come over. I'm not surprised it landed right there with, you know, because it probably floated for a minute. Yeah. Like when I got down to the car and like I stirred it up a bit, I was almost felt better that I couldn't see shit. <laughs> Instead of seeing this, this red halo of just like, oh my God. How's are going? Right. Can't complain. A little chilly. Yeah. <laughs> Adam. Jimmy, nice to Jimmy, meet you. Nice to meet hey, you. Adam, how you doing? Tom, Tom Toby, nice to meet you. How you doing, Jeremy? Jeremy. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Jimmy. So, what, uh, what do we got? Our little Hyundai Elantra. It's yeah. half buried, but like the silt is really loose out mm -hmm. here. So I, I don't think it'd be a problem with suction. Yeah. But I got it hooked on the driver rear wheel. Okay. And all we got to do is drag the cable out. We got the, I got the strap hooked up to that buoy. Okay. So all we do is drag the cable out, hook it on, and fingers crossed it come right out as long as our i'm hoping our strap don't break it should I, come we out just pretty bought easy it today, i don't think it'll break i've got it wrapped around the strut and the i've wheel. got i've got some uh dyneema container slings mm. um that i mean they're we use them for lifting containers yeah they're super stupid strong they? if you and they're light and they float i mean if you want to well if you've got question on whether that will hold yeah i mean you got to go back out anyway to hook it up you if you want to take this oh. with you yeah, if this one breaks, we'll probably use yours. Because okay. we got it going up to that buoy. It's a long yeah. strap, so we, we don't even have to get back in. We just have to go on the boat, hook on your line. Okay. We wanted to make it easy. <laughs> yeah. So How whereabouts is the car? Right there. It's the right car. below that Directly buoy. below that is the driver it's, rear wheel. So it's actually, yeah, the front's a little closer. And it's on its wheels, so it's not upside down. Oh, it's on its oh, wheels it's on already? It. Okay. Yeah, I pulled a capsized boat out of here a couple really? of years ago. <laughs> They put the boat in the water and it went in and it just rolled right here. There's another sunken one out here we saw. Yeah. We'll get the truck in position. Um, we'll go ahead and spool the cable off. I'm going to put some boots on. I'm assuming it's just empty, stolen car 99% of the time it is. But. Okay. So what made you, if you don't mind me asking, I've always wondered, what like makes you pick the spot? Uh, well, I, I found this one almost a year ago. There was a, a guy in Wilmington, uh, Barry Maurice Aiken. Mm -hmm. He was missing in 1993. Um, yeah, that's the one I've. You guys were here on last. Yeah, year, we went right? the Cape Fear River and found yeah. a truck and some other ones there, and uh, yeah. Um, Apparently, we was testing but, fate. <laughs> yeah, didn't really realize the Cape that river. river. Yeah, it's, yeah. I, I, I think I actually even put, I think I commented on is like, guys, I work for the fire department. You know, <laughs> like we dove, we dove here all the time. It's that you were in a bad spot. Yeah. And this year, if you come here in the summertime, if you ever come back. The first question you ask before getting in this water is, have you seen any gators? That's what, yeah, yeah. we're talking to those guys and yeah. Where this goes out to the, the snakes. River, <laughs> you can, 
you can just about run across Town Creek on their backs. They're so thick in really? the summertime. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, yep. but, but this one, it's a good time you pick the coldest day of the year. So Yeah, definitely. So, all right, yeah. well, let me get the truck in. Like I said, um, Jim, I just put the, put the flatbed over there out of the way or leave it where it's at. And uh, we went ahead and brought it just to get, if it's got to be hauled off. If it's, I mean, it will be. Big. I just don't know if the police want to. Yeah. I mean, they're probably fine with y'all doing they it. They usually do is just call you guys anyway. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. we're on the rotation list. over. We're based out of New Hanover County over here uh -huh. in Wellington. But we also have a yard here in Brunswick. Oh, really? We're, we're okay. on the rotation there and for highway patrol. That's next. That's what we're getting next. Those are more for like semi trucks, right? Uh, I, I told him what's <laughs> That's like a fire truck. It was a tractor. Well, that's the thing. We're both firemen. And when yeah, he actually like... started it with the gold leaf and everything to kind yeah. of the fire machine. So we got Thomas Towen helping us out today in transport in Wilmington, North Carolina. And uh, we put a post out on Facebook saying everybody wanted to help us out. And they, they reached out. So that's really awesome. So you shout out to Thomas Towing. This is a nice truck here we got. So this thing should come out easy. Uh, it's right there. On, yeah, I'm. Yeah. Uh, let me let me move this back. All right, you ready? You are. All right. You gotta tell me which way to go. Just going straight back. Straight back. You're good. Uh, a little bit to my right. Are you right? Eh, you're good. Straight back, straight back. Uh, neutral? I just dropped those in on the line. Uh, you can get it tight. Hopefully, that strap don't break. It's probably gonna spin around, I guess, a little bit. Oh, yeah, it'll spin the rear end around. There's lots of bubbles. It looks like it's it's broke free. Yeah. Something came up. It'd be the easiest pull ever if this comes up. It looks like it's moving. Look at the bubbles right here. As long as the strap don't break, it should be our easiest. Who's paying that? <laughs> well, it's right there. Yeah, I mean, it's 15 feet behind the ball. That's coming. Is that an antenna? That's an antenna. It's making me a lot happier now. I don't know to get back in that water. Woo! It's it's coming. Smell. It's coming right there, yep. Yeah, there you go. It's pretty dark. I think you'll... I think you'll make it, but it's pretty close to the dock. Oh, you can see the side right here. It'll yeah. Yeah. Uh, 15. Yeah, it's all a little hatchback. Yeah. Look at that color. Man, I was right in blue green. Yeah. Holy smokes, look at that. All oh, the roof is all rotted out. Look at him.
Yeah, I mean that, that worked out pretty easy. So you can see the see the license plate right there. <laughs> NTA 7179, is that what you said? Yeah. NTA? That honestly is the quickest recovery we've ever had. We always have some issue happen. You guys be able to go for dinner soon. Yeah, we might actually get home at a good time. <laughs> It was at a, yeah, that's at a weird angle, but yeah. Yeah, it's actually, you actually see what's going on in here. Yeah. Pretty clear. Oh, we definitely we can punch a window and yeah. look in the back. I mean, we'll still call the. I guess we can go ahead and call the cops. I was trying to see if I could find the, the bar, you know. You know, we can never get these doors open <laughs> easily yeah, when we pull them out. I got a hammer and I got a pry bar. I mean, we can, Is there like some secret to get them when they're locked up and well, rusted? The, you can get a hold of the the rod of that. that activates the actual lock. Yeah. yeah. But it's all corroded. It's all corroded away. That was honestly, that's probably the fastest car we've ever recovered. Pulled out now, yeah. Well, I mean, that the truck makes it easy, yeah. probably. <laughs> well, it, I think that was like, it might have been DNR, or North Carolina's version. Yeah. But he's like an hour and a half away, he wasn't checked. Like, they, he ran the number, nothing came back. Uh, he pretty much said, pop the windows, pull, open the trunk, there's nothing in it. You know, there's a cop on the way. There is. But they're not really, it doesn't really sound like they give a shit. Uh, just like, eh, I mean, if there's nothing inside, eh, whatever. Okay. Kind of cool. well, Pretty much, you know, I'm just like, ah, I don't care. So, I mean, we could look inside <laughs> and open the trunk and all that all shit. Right. All. I guess we'll go ahead and pop it. I think that was like the, the North Carolina's version of DNR. Uh -huh. He pretty much was just like, I mean, bust, do whatever you want to like see if there's anybody in it and uh, and then go from there. Like he said, I don't know what the hell. He was like an hour and a half away. They're not the, going to send a sheriff's deputy? Well, the sheriff's supposed to be on his way, but he's on a call. I don't know how long it's going to take to get here. But he told us, he was like, if you guys want to bust the windows open, go for it. <laughs> so we, we have his blessing. <laughs> oh, we can wait a little bit more if y'all want to. I mean, but I, I mean, it's up to you guys. I don't know how long they would. Oh, I, I got nowhere to be. I mean, it's, I don't want to waste y'all's time. <laughs> yeah. uh, my gut would be, let's give that deputy a little bit longer. Okay. Uh, you probably talked to a wildlife resources guy. Yeah, he, probably. Yeah. You know, they have jurisdiction on the boat ramp because this is a this is a north carolina wildlife ramp mm -hmm. but you know there if there's this thing's involved in any type of crime then the sheriff's department's going to take over and i was i found a body in a trunk in oh, a really? car fire situation one time and we were overhauling we popped the trunk open and there was a body in there and yeah, it looks clear but we got called the cops so they're gonna they'll be here soon we'll check it out inside A little bit of tire damage. Alright. We got the sheriff just showed up. Well, we'll see what he has to say about this. He could run the tag maybe. Maybe through uh, insurance to see if there's any more information. <laughs> How far down in there was it? 75 feet out, straight out. How'd you guys go was down there? Well, we just ran sonar in our boat. That's what oh, we do. Okay. We're just a private search and recovery team. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, how far it was in the mud quite a ways? It was a little, it was like half buried. The front was pretty buried. 
Yeah. What, what was it from? 09 registration or something like that? Yeah, 2002. 2002. I wouldn't be surprised if it's been in there. In you know, 10 years at least. It's healthy. Sounds like insurance fraud or something. That's weird. Well, I got Fender County going to that his registered address to see if they can get up and figure out what the hell is going on. If it was reported stolen, it would make sense. Somebody stole it, did whatever, and then dumped yeah. it in the water. But it's never even been reported stolen. It don't look like it was wrecked at all. No. I mean, ripped the door handles off. No, that was all rotted. Oh, it was? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I went to try to go out handles first. You guys, is that what you guys just drive around and run sonar and try to find stuff? Yep, yep. So we, you know, we search for missing people across the country. Oh, okay. We're here to basically Texas most of the time and check every body of water in the surrounding areas. And uh, I found this one. There's a guy. How's it going? Good find, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> I guess it was right side up when y'all found it, but it was. Uh, it was on its wheels, but it was kind of nose down a little. The front front end was buried, so it's been down there a while. Just based on that, and so you record? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, we are. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we we do like documentary videos. Yeah, I, I get it. I just the, I was wondering if you were hot or not. Yeah. <laughs> Most of them are stolen, or Most of them are stolen, or well, I'd say half the time there's no record of anything. We can't even find the owner, and well, usually they're stolen. Most of the time they don't have a plate on them, and the windows are cracked or down. Oh. There you do it. That's how you do it. Uh, just trash and stuff in there. What's that white thing? Nobody in that trailer. Like a giant Civil War bullet. It it does it does look good. Just smell the gas. Uh, part of the car, I guess. Oh, it's like a clip. Uh, Check the glove box. I didn't. You can reach in there if you want. Just wait and make sure that body is there. Alright. You know what I mean? Oh, there's like a little uh, whale stuffed animal up in there. What? There's like a stuffed animal up oh, in the yeah. dash. Side. So the key on, is the key on? He looks like it's in the old position. Yeah. We want to do things. It could either be nice to me. We'll lower it down. We need to do it this way. Put the boom out, lift it up, back under it. Yeah. Yeah. Tilt the bed a little bit back under as far as we can. Yep. Throw the cable on it. And then. That would uh, be nice to me, so I don't have to get down. Yeah. <laughs> Set it, set it down. You know, lift it up a little bit for the flatbed. Oh yeah. Man. Oh, okay. <laughs> no point on dragging all that stuff yeah. up on there, you know?
It's a short day of pulling and a, and a lot of waiting <laughs> for all the deputies and officers to come. We're finally loading this thing up. All right, guys, we got the car out of the water. Just wanted to give a huge shout out to Thomas Towen. Thanks for all your help, and uh, I'm glad we couldn't help. have done it without you. Where, where are you guys located? All Wilmington? Uh, we're we're located in Wilmington, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. We serve all of Pender, Brunswick, and New Hanover County okay. from uh, a base there in Wilmington, North Carolina. Yeah, and uh, we. We do a lot of different stuff. We do off-road recovery. We do heavy equipment. We do uh, heavy towing as well as light duty towing. And uh, do it all. Always, uh, always open to an opportunity to come out and help with something like this. Oh, yeah. We really appreciate it. You know, it's always good to get them clean out the water. And if you guys need anything, any any help with your car towing, heavy recovery, anything, definitely give them a shout out. Uh, you guys got a Facebook page and all that? Uh, yeah, we got a Facebook. It's Thomas Towing and Transport. Um, look it up. We're like I said, we're based in Wilmington, North Carolina. And we have a, uh, a website that is www.thomastoes.com. Sounds good. Well, appreciate it once again. Hey, thank and you. And we'll so definitely much. we'll give you a call if we find any more. You guys travel safe. <laughs> thank you. All right, man. Long day, but we got the car out successfully. Huge shout out to Thomas Towing and Recovery. Those guys are awesome. I tell you what, that's pretty textbook. I mean, rigged it, pulled it out. It was it. Was, it, it it was a quick recovery. Quick recovery. We had to wait around a little while for uh, all the officers to check it out, and the, d the detectives wanted to take pictures and all that. Which, uh, but it ended up being just a stolen car, stolen back in the day. And it was stolen. It kind of fell through the cracks, so it wasn't it wasn't <laughs> in the system. But, it's, but it's, uh, yeah, I still like finding stolen cars. Yeah, it's it's better than you it's, know. It's it could a, be a darker story to it, but luckily it's a it was just... it's a conclusion. You know, it's it's some sort of a lot of times we don't have that when we mm -hmm. find these cars. Yeah, they found the, the owner of it. I guess it was stolen like 20 some odd years ago. Yeah. And they're like, what? <laughs> so, can you imagine that phone call? They're like, what'd you find? <laughs> yeah. It's like, man, I wonder what happened to that we, We've heard that a few times now, but we really appreciate y'all watching and all the support. Definitely uh, go give Thomas Towing and Recovery a, a check them out on their page on Facebook and, and leave them a good review. Their I records are awesome. Yeah, those guys are, things were clean. We'll nice. definitely be back in town searching for some more and give them a call. And um, yeah. That's that's gonna wrap up for today. We gotta get back home, but we appreciate you guys watching, liking, subscribing. Check out Exploring with Nugs page, and you can see his video. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Mm. Thanks again to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring today's episode. Don't forget to click the link below and download today.